she was actually a guest host on rapper T.I.'s podcast. Erica spoke beautifully about the cultural effects of COVID-19. I'm actually going to talk with her all about it in just a moment, but we wanted you to see some of the amazing highlights, so check it out. When we say this homogenized Black community, mm -hmm. let's please at least acknowledge that we are as diverse and as complex as any other community. And therefore, our underlying beliefs and ideologies may be different. I like to say even Wakanda had diversity. So what <laughs> is that telling you? We have four Black hosts out of eight on our show Daily Blast Live, which is incredible, by the way. <laughs> Generally, there's just one. Point of view is just what I've done all my professional life for the past 20 years. Now we have another African-American female on the show. Her name's Lindsey Granger and her background is in journalism. I just think that, you know, you, you represent so many of us and, you know, speaking from a black woman's perspective, you guys are the most successful, the most educated, the most brilliant, capable beings in the world. Um, I just want to say thank you. Wow, T.I. saying thank you, unbelievable. Erica and Lindsay, I am so proud to work with you both. Erica, I just gotta ask, what was that like to experience sharing your thoughts with T.I.'s audience? Because it's, it's sort of different than DBL a bit. Right, there's, I mean, it speaks to the diversity when we say black community. Um, I think that it really does a disservice when we don't identify the things that make us unique because that is really a part of the strength of the black community. Um, being able to do this on his podcast was such an amazing opportunity for me because when I come to work, I always when pray that God give me the ability to, you know, um, to be an instrument or help me help myself so I can be an instrument to others. And I feel like this is a part of a greater purpose for me. I think so too. I think you started off in radio and it kind of came full circle for you to be talking about more interesting, deeper subjects. Lindsay, how does it feel to be on a show that really, really, truly, like, I mean, I know the bosses, like really respects diversity and wants diversity. How does that feel? I think it's amazing. I think, I mean, Daily Blast Live is my favorite job of all time. I, I have a lot of fun in my career, but I think just working with people that are so smart, including yourself, including Erica, and we all sit there and have these conversations offline and on the camera, it's just so cool. And then everybody has like their little things about them that make them really unique, that show us all coming to the table having these conversations. I don't know how many times people have messaged me and said, wow, you guys are having these authentic conversations. Mm -hmm. I'm like, our bosses really don't tell us what to say. And so when I look at Erica doing something like that with T.I. It's just so powerful because she's not, she didn't reach out to him and say, hey, have me on your show. He reached out to her. And so that's because she's been using her voice in an honest and authentic way. And I think we all have found our avenues to do so. And I'm just so proud to be on this team. So Tori, Erica, everybody else who's not on this exact episode. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you too. I think that's a really good point. Love I think, you. Uh, uh, Erica will remember this. When we first got to the audition, one of our bosses, Lisa, said to us, if you have an ego, you will not be cast on this show. And the fact that we're open about ourselves without that ego makes the conversation possible. And I think that's really a beautiful thing to see.